Traveling overseas can be pricey, but $143,000 for a cell phone bill was not something the Raymonds budgeted for during their European vacation. I'm getting ready to pay all my bills. I look at the uh, T-Mobile bill and I thought it was $143. And I said, oh, that's reasonable. And then uh, when I get on the computer, I look at the there's three more digits behind that. The couple traveled to Switzerland for three and a half weeks last fall, but the biggest surprise happened when they got home and saw that T-Mobile had billed them well into six figures for sending and receiving data. Were you watching movies or what was, do you know what it was for? No, I'm not a, I'm not 20 years old anymore, okay? So I do very little on my phone. I'm not on YouTube, I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on the, What's it? Uh, Twitter. I'm, I'm not. On, I am not on any social media network. Renee Raymond, who works in property management in Tampa, says he and his wife travel often, and they know to first alert the phone company when they'll be leaving the U.S. This time, Renee says he went to a T-Mobile store and told employees about their trip. He says they told him they were covered for international roaming, so during their three-week trip, they used their phones and sent messages without batting an eye. And never any trouble with your phone bill before? Oh, heck no, never, never. Not even close, not even close. And I've done, done the same thing. After finally getting that bill, the couple realized they were not covered and instead were on the hook for $143,000 for 9.5 gigabytes of roaming data. Analysts say the average smartphone user goes through about 21 gigabytes each month. Renee called T-Mobile and hoped to get that price adjusted. So I immediately called uh, T-Mobile. And they put me on hold and says, yes, Mr. Raymond, this is a good bill. Well, it's a good bill. Maybe good for you, but not good for me. What happened here? And uh, she couldn't come up with an explanation. T-Mobile said it worked with Raymond to resolve the issue, writing in a statement, we always recommend that customers double check the travel coverage in their wireless plans to understand their international data roaming terms, adding that it notifies customers before roaming charges start. After getting a lawyer and local media involved, the couple says T-Mobile called and told them they were getting a credit for the full amount. Of course, by then I was already with Verizon. All right, Stephen Romo joins us in studio. Stephen, uh, it's good that you sort of figured out how this happened, we think. Uh, he got the charges reversed, which is the most important thing. What can people do when they're traveling to make sure that they don't come back from a great vacation and they have a, a $100,000 plus phone bill? Yeah, you don't want that wake up call. Uh, T-Mobile and other phone companies, they say it's best to check your plans and your settings on your phone when you're traveling overseas. You might want to make sure the Wi-Fi is on just to make sure everything is where it should be. T-Mobile saying it's mostly these older plans that uh, need these changes before you head overseas, which makes sense because Renee says he's had this account with T-Mobile for decades now and they he was happy with their service until this happened. He's glad the charges were reversed, but they did lose a customer in all this. From yeah. All right, Stephen, we appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.